Hello, this is Christopher Chesterman with Liberty University. Although it is not required for the Civil War research class, I decided to use a video to show how my initial visit to the Troop County Archives went for my research project on civilian Confederate women taking up arms against Union forces and encroachments. This will be followed by a brief commentary on how the sources panned out and what I learned and what I actually got out of it. All right, so I'm on my way to the Troop County Archives. Uh, this is my, not my first visit ever, but it is my first visit for the um, research in the Civil War class. So the next clip will be of me entering the building and going through the process. All right, so I made it to the Troop County uh, Archives. It's housed in their Legacy Museum on Main, which is uh, for Main Street. And I'm about to meet uh, Mr. Lewis, who has some sources for me. And uh, we will go from there. So see you in a minute. So I'm in the museum. Sorry if it's a little bit wobbly. But I get to go down to the second floor. Any background noise is probably my keys. Just push the elevator. Hi, I'm Lewis Powell. I am the research archivist here at the Troop County Historical Society. And uh, at the moment, all we have for you is our vertical file on the Nancy Hearts. And we're still trying to locate, uh, we do have a manuscript collection that involves the Nancy Hearts as well. We're still trying to locate that at the moment. But um, so far, all we have is the vertical file. So my visit to the Troop County Archives was extremely productive and successful. The vertical files were basically a historiography of the LaGrange community's interpretation and reinterpretation of the Nancy Hart Militia story. It started in 1904 with an article done in the Ladies' Home Journal and spread throughout the 1900s and all the way into the late 2010s where it culminated in a reenactment of the Nancy Hart event. Uh, in the early 2000s, uh, an artist heard about the story and decided to use it as inspiration for his History of America and depicted the event as he understood it. The main issue surrounding the Nancy Hart militia story is its accuracy because all of it comes from a single source, a speech done by a former member, Lila C. Pullen, who later married and became Lila C. Morris, and that was over 30 years after the end of the Civil War. Uh, during my research, they were able to find the manuscript, so I did get a copy of the actual speech, as well as letters from the Soldiers' Home to the Women of LaGrange about the difficulties of war, difficulties in being able to communicate and even be able to interact physically at some point to meet up and be with each other. And so there is some credence in Poland's speech regarding because of the level of detail she puts into telling the story about their training, the incidents that happened, as well as her perceptions of the Union approach. Uh, so some of the details might be her own interpretations, but the general event must have happened given how much detail she put into telling of the story. Uh, additionally, I was also given access to the Georgia History Archives. Although the reading room is closed for renovation, the the documents I needed, mainly the Lawton protectors uh, uh, who petitioned the governor of Georgia to protect Savannah, are available on a digital, on their website, uh, digitally. I can actually view it and they also have a written transcript as well. So I can use that for what I need. And uh, other uh, places in Virginia, especially, have been extremely helpful in uh, finding out uh, sources. I was even able to call a professor uh, up in uh, Virginia who answered the phone himself and took the time out to direct me to some additional sources to help me uh, make my research more robust and have uh, plenty of information to work with. So it was a wonderful experience, and I hope all of you are doing just as well. Thank you.